Hey everybody, it's Lily and I'm going to be using some watercolor to make a pretty cool little underwater scene. And I was inspired by the movie Song of the Sea, which is a beautiful animated movie. It's probably my favorite one out there. And uh, also just like the various watercolor whales that are on the internet because that's like a huge thing is people watercoloring whales. So I was like, I wanna make one of those and I wanna make an underwater scene. And so I bought this masking fluid a while ago and I decided to give it a try again. Um, I haven't used masking fluid in a long time, but uh, this one was pretty cool because it came out in kind of like a little needle so you can like pipe it on there in pretty thin lines and it's pretty easy to control. Yeah, so I just laid all that down and then I let it dry thoroughly and then I just added some water onto the page just to make it nice and wet. And this technique I'm using right now is called wet on wet technique and it's where you wet down the paper completely and then use watercolor on top of it and it kind of creates this blending effect. The pigment flows around the page much easier and you can see that a lot of the time I just have to put my brush down on the page and then the water will carry the pigment out and it creates a very nice smooth um, flowy kind of a look and so I decided I wanted the background to be mainly based off of this very um, this like colorful wash and so I did that wash and I added some green into it there at the end just because I wanted it to have more color variety and so on top of that I decided I wanted to paint the um, the jellyfish and I went with this kind of a dark maroon color and uh, yeah once the background was entirely dry I grabbed that masking fluid again and I started filling in more areas. I added a little school of fish over to the left and in the upper left and then I, I just colored the, the uh, whale a little bit more and I added this kind of swirly pattern and this sort of a pattern it was inspired by Song of the Sea. Uh, yeah, that movie has a lot of patterns and details and stuff and so I wanted to make something kind of similar to that and I wanted the background to have uh, some like almost bubbles, I guess. I don't know, kind of like a, a, just a magical little design going in the background. So I did that. And then I let it dry again, and um, I this time I completely used the masking fluid to completely mask off the entire whale. And one downside about this method of like applying the masking fluid with the needle is that it kind of scratches the paper. Like when later when I peeled the masking fluid off, it had like like it left a scratchy kind of scratchy marks on the paper because that's how I was applying it with that like metal tip and um it wasn't too distracting so I don't I don't mind too much but definitely in the future if I wanted to cover a large area like this again I would I would definitely just go back to using a, a brush and a bottle because it's it's much easier that way to cover like a large surface and I had seen this video on YouTube by Macochino and it was this method to make like soap bubble art. And I thought it was really interesting what you do is you take some dish soap and you add some paint. She was using acrylic and I wanted to use watercolor. And so you add some paint and you add a little bit of water and then you blow bubbles and it creates this interesting pattern when you put your paper on top of it to like kind of smack it on the bubbles. And so I was doing that and I, at first I was using my, my nice watercolors, just a little bit of that. I don't want to use too much just because they're nice and I don't want to go through them that much, just for one piece. And um, I wasn't getting enough pigment in the, the water so I added a whole bunch of Reeves student watercolor into there. And then yeah, I just mixed it up and I did the bubbles and plopped it on top. And it, it created a pretty cool effect. I had to do it a lot to make it actually show up. Yeah, and this is what um, the effect looks like. It kind of has, like, it, it looks like the bubbles. It's pretty interesting. And this is the best part, in my opinion, is peeling up the uh, masking fluid. And so a friend of mine was talking about how masking fluid sometimes 
peels up the paper and I I had actually never had that happen to me before, but I did have it happen uh, twice in this piece. And I think it's just because I was rushing it a little bit, you know, for the most part, I let everything dry very thoroughly, but there was like this one somewhat damp spot and I just, I don't have a hair dryer, so I can't really dry my paper that way. But I was like, eh, it's dry enough. And so I started taking the masking fluid off. So it kind of peeled up a little bit of the jellyfish at the bottom, but I didn't care that much. It, it was, I just put paint on top of it and it fixed it. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking probably if masking fluid does that to your art, it uh, could be a number of things. It could be that your paper wasn't completely dry before you put the masking fluid on or your paper wasn't completely dry when you're trying to remove the masking fluid or possibly the masking fluid was old and separated or something like that. Um, yeah, I didn't have too many issues with it in this piece, um, but I, I did experience it a couple times there. After I removed the masking fluid, I realized that I had just left a lot of white space and I wanted it to be more colorful, so I went on top of it with some colors to give it more color variation. And I um, went back over the jellyfish and parts of the whale. And yeah, I I think that this piece is all right. It's a good first try for these kind of these kinds of um, techniques with watercolor. I my experience with watercolor i have done a lot of watercolor and usually i use um wet on dry i'm just like dry paper and put the paint on top of it i don't really do wet on wet i don't really use masking fluid i don't try funny little techniques like this soap thing and so i just wanted to try some something new and so for the final outcome i, th I think it looks okay i think it definitely, there's a lot going on and the whale, I wish there was more variation in the whale and I suppose I should have done that before I had put the masking fluid down, but I know that for next time. And so yeah, I think it was a good learning experience. Anyway, um, this is the final piece. I just want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in my next video. By the way, here is a piece of fan art that I received on Twitter. Um, if you make any fan art for me, definitely send it to me and I'll put it at the end of these videos. Um, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.